I want coffee. Can I do tea? I should have researched this more. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, I'm Lauren. I am a mom on a journey to lose 150 pounds. I just posted my one month update on my weight loss journey, so make sure you check that out. I'll have it listed in the description below. But to begin month two, I wanted to find a way to do a hard reset and prepare and just really get going on my weight loss journey. Month one, I took it pretty easy. I rebooted my journey by starting back on the My WW Blue program, charting my points, incorporating some light exercise and yoga into my routine and a couple other exercise routines. But for the most part, I kept it pretty light because I knew that for me, for long-term weight loss, I needed to attack this slowly and get myself into a good groove and get those habits restructured so that I would keep going. But for month two, I am ready to boost it up a bit. I am ready to start seeing better results. So I'm taking a break from my WW only for a few days because we are going to be kickstarting my month two of my journey with a three day fast. I am nervous, but I'm also really excited. I've been watching Dr. Jason Fung here on YouTube and checking out his books and resource materials. Now, I do not have any medical concerns other than the fact that I'm morbidly obese and need to lose weight. However, I did have gestational diabetes with my daughter Lila when I was pregnant and I've had type two diabetes run in my family. So it's something I'm very concerned about, especially at the weight I'm at now. It's one of the main reasons why I'm on this journey to lose weight is to make sure I'm in a better place with my health as I get older. I was very intrigued by all of his research and seeing what intermittent fasting and extended fasting could possibly do for my weight loss journey and other health benefits. I'll link Dr. Jason Fung's YouTube channel as well as his book that I've been reading down below in the description bar. If you're interested, please take a look. I'm just putting it out there. I am not a doctor or a nutritionist. Please, if you decide to try your own fast, make sure you check in with your physician first, do your research. This is just going to be a vlog diary of my journey on my first time doing a fast and what my results were. There are many benefits to fasting that I've been reading. Yes, weight loss is a part of that, but for me, this fast was not a quick fix solution to losing five to 10 pounds over the course of three days. I still have over 100 pounds left to lose at least on my weight loss journey. For me, I was more intrigued by the other benefits that a fast could bring to me. Some of these include hydration, better sleep, skin improvement, giving my digestive system a break. You never think about the fact that our bodies are constantly working and sometimes by giving them a break, it's like hitting that hard reset button, clearing everything out, and hopefully it'll increase the efficiency of my digestive system, maybe give me a boost to my metabolism. Here's a list of all of the possible benefits that people talk about when it comes to intermittent fasting and extended fasting. So all that being said, here's my little vlog diary of my experience on my first three day fast. Make sure you stick around to the end to see my results post fast, including a weigh in measurements and a list of my non-scale victories over the next three days. And if you're new here and you want to keep following along with my weight loss journey, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Okay guys, I'm gonna start off with showing you what I intend on using during my three-day water fast. First off, I have my trusty Turbis. I find I drink way more water when I have a cup I really love. I have filtered water as well as some electrolyte waters. I do have more of these. I just grabbed these out to show you guys. Some chicken bone broth, which I intend on using only when I really need something to keep me going on the fast or for using to break my fast at the end of my three days. I also have herbal tea. 
And then when I was at the store, I went ahead and picked up some really yummy looking fresh fruit. So I had plenty of options of some good whole foods to use as I broke my fast. Whoo, guys, I am not someone who is used to cleansing or to fasting. It's gonna be really hard. I have never done anything like this while I had a family to take care of as well. My husband's on his own. He does not expect me to be cooking for him and dealing with all of that while I am cleansing. But I have a tiny human at home, a little two and a half year old, and I feel like all she does is eat. Mommy, I want breakfast. Mommy, I need a snack. Mommy, I need another snack. Mommy wants lunch. Mommy, is it dinner time yet? It is eating all day long at that house. <laughs> so... I'm going to be making her meals. I'm still handling the grocery shopping for our family and it's going to be hard not being able to eat and have to smell the cooking. So that's the part I think I'm the most worried about is how my strength and my dedication is going to do when I have all that temptation around me. I can't just hole up by myself for three days. We don't have family around. We don't have babysitters right now because of COVID and I have to continue my regular mom life. Luckily, I did wait to start this water fast at a time when it was going to work with Josh's schedule when he was going to be a little bit more free. It is Monday and he is off today and tomorrow he's scheduled to work from home because it's election day and they just their office is closed. He's gonna be home the next two days, so that'll be helpful. I am someone who gets migraines on occasion. I'm hoping I don't have too bad of a headache or a migraine set in, but those can be some of the negative side effects of doing a water fast or cleanse. Hopefully I'll survive through that. I hear day two is the worst. It is day one now, it is almost noon. I've not eaten since Sunday, so yesterday at six o'clock p.m. is when we finished dinner. My cleanse will last until Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night at 6 p.m. We're going strong. We're over 12 hours in at this point. We're around 18 hours in and um, I'm not too hungry, but I'm not a huge breakfast person typically. I am a coffee person though and I haven't had any caffeine headaches yet, but that is the one thing that I feel I am missing this morning. I also tried to keep myself busy today because I knew today I wouldn't feel too bad, maybe just hungry a little bit, maybe a little bit like eh, from not having caffeine. Tomorrow is when I expect it to really set in. I tried to kind of make myself a bit of a busier schedule today to keep my mind off of it. I had to run some errands. I went to the bank. Um, I had to go drop something off at our property management company. And now I'm going to actually run over to a store to exchange something. <sighs> On the way home though, I do have to go grocery shopping. And I love grocery shopping. I don't know if you guys have seen my grocery hauls, but I find it relaxing. I enjoy the process, especially when I get the pleasure of going without Lila in tow. It's kind of nice just to walk the aisles and make my meal plans and I enjoy it. It's kind of weird, I know, but I enjoy grocery shopping and this is not going to be enjoyable because I'm getting things that I'm not going to be able to eat for three days. Anyway, the next couple days, I'm just going to kind of vlog the process of this three-day water fast and take you guys along with me and let's see how the results come on Wednesday evening. I stopped at a different mall than I ever go to to run in and do this errand and I didn't know exactly where I was parking so I just went into the regular entrance. Of course I enter at the food court entrance. My life. I made it. I was not tempted by the food court. I did have to pee like three times while I was in there though. I've drank through two turvices of water already so far this morning into the early afternoon. Let the cleanse begin. Thank you, my buddy. Your mom is not worth. Okay, y'all. It is the end of day one of my water fast. Um, it's actually been more than 24 hours because I started my fast around 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock on Sunday evening and it is now almost 9 p.m. on Monday evening. Today wasn't actually too bad. I really didn't 
start feeling hungry at all until like maybe like four o'clock in the afternoon. I definitely was drinking enough water and anytime I was worried I was getting hungry, um, I drank more water and that really helped. I am <laughs> tired, <laughs> which normally can't let my like mind and body wind down until at least 10 o'clock. That is an early bedtime for me. I've been like struggling to stay awake till like nine tonight. I've been trying just to give my body rest and just getting home from my errands. The hardest part of the day was any time I had to like physically interact with food. The grocery store, I was hungry at the grocery store, seeing all the food and picking things up and taking them in the cart. But after I got out of the store, I was fine. And then it was when I got home, Lila wanted a snack when she got up from her nap and I was fixing that and I had to like cut up her apples and I gave her apples and peanut butter and to not just like pop an apple slice in my mouth while I was cutting it up for her and not to lick like peanut butter off my fingers and just the consciousness of don't eat <laughs> was really hard. And it wasn't even that I was like dying of hunger, but I just, I'm so used to manually just popping things in my mouth as I feed her. And that's a habit that, I mean, I need to break anyway. Oh, we were painting. I have paint on my hand. I'm a mess. Um, Lila and I, we did some crafts this afternoon to help keep my mind off of things and to do something kind of relaxing with her. But anyway, it was anytime I had to physically touch the food. That was the hardest time of the day. What was funny was Josh made dinner tonight for him and Lila and the smell of the house actually satisfied some of my hunger pains I was starting to feel, which is so funny, but I've talked about it in previous videos that scent for me can be really filling. Like I talk about how sometimes when I light candles in the evening, it helps to curb my want for sweet things. And I do have, oh, let's see, oh, boop. I got a candle going on back there. I did some research and found out that vanilla scented candles are supposed to help with hunger suppression. So there you go. But yeah, I'm not feeling too hungry tonight. I'm just, I'm starting to feel drained and tired. I almost forgot to mention. So I think the number one side effect I'm feeling from the water fast so far today is my body temperature regulation is crazy. I will all of a sudden feel like freezing cold, like from my head to my toes. I live in Georgia. It is not that cold here yet. And I have on fuzzy socks, slippers, flannel pants, a long sleeve shirt, a robe. I'm acting like it's negative 20 degrees up in here. My body feels cold and shaky. Then earlier today when I was bringing the groceries in, Josh was helping me and I got like a hot flash and I felt really warm and like I was going to start sweating. And within 15 minutes after being done with the activity, I was like freezing again. I'm gonna be heading to bed here very soon and I will check in with you guys tomorrow morning to start off day two. Good morning, everyone. It is the morning of day two. It's Tuesday around 8 a.m. Um, we got up with Lila around seven this morning. I actually had a really good night sleep last night. I went to bed probably between like around like 9 30, 10 o'clock at the latest is when I fell asleep and I slept all the way till seven. I feel pretty good this morning. I feel well rested. Only other things I've noticed, I don't really feel hungry at all yet. I have started drinking um, my first cup of water this morning. No feelings of hunger yet. I did get up and first thing I did was brush my teeth because I felt like they felt like they had like a bit of a film on them. So I went ahead and brushed my teeth. The mint was nice in my mouth. I've heard of people doing that when they're water fasting. You brush your teeth a few times a day just because it's nice to get the taste of mint in your mouth and mint like helps subside hunger sometimes. I have noticed like I have just my lips like slathered in Vaseline right now. They, my skin on my hands, my lips, my face like just feels really tight and dry, which is weird because of how much water I'm pumping in. You'd think it would be hydrating. I think it could just be that because overnight I had a solid eight hour, eight, nine hour period where I wasn't drinking any water. So it might be from that, or it could also be because it's finally starting to get cold enough here where 
um, we've switched over to our heat and our heater will kick on sometimes at night when it gets, I think below like 67 or 66. What do you guys keep your house at in the winter? My skin feels kind of dry. I did brush my teeth first thing this morning. No hunger yet. I feel pretty well rested. No headaches or anything yet to speak of. So that's how we're doing. And then obviously too, the only other thing, I'm still all snuggled up in my robe and <laughs> slippers and socks and jammies because I am still feeling kind of chilly. So that's kind of been the most consistent reaction I feel is just having a feeling of being cold. So we'll see how that goes and I'll check in later this afternoon. A lot of reclined videos today. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to take it pretty chill during this fast. Um, and I still feel pretty good. It is day two afternoon. I just got Lila down for a nap. So it's probably around like 1.30. I did start getting hungry this afternoon when I was like making Lila lunch. So I did end up using my electrolyte water that I purchased a few bottles of. I used some of that and I actually put some like large full piece frozen fruit, some strawberries and blueberries in the water. Um, you have to do this water fast how you feel good doing it. The research I did said it was fine and that it wouldn't throw my body out of ketosis if I put whole fruit in the water as long as it wasn't like cut up so the sugars aren't leaching into the water too much. It just helps give an essence of flavor to help satisfy you in your water. That's what I read. That's my choice and what I'm following on this water fast. Now that Lila's napping and I've picked up the house, I'm actually really pretty tired. <laughs> um, I felt like I had a lot of good energy this morning and a lot of people mentioned day two can be very like energizing. Josh went into the office this afternoon so, and took Millie with him for a little doggy field trip. So we are nice and quiet in the house and I think I'm gonna smash a nap. I'm sitting here editing <laughs> a video to post on my Instagram, a Weight Watchers recipe. It's getting later in the day, day two, and I'm hungry. I heard a lot of people look at <laughs> videos in YouTube, like recipe things of food, and it helps to satiate them when they're on a fast. I think it's making me hungrier though. Well, that's a wrap on day two. I was able to take like a nice long shower tonight and just take my time to do some self-care and help get my mind <laughs> off the fast. And um, only other new symptom to report since I talked a little bit more about it this morning is like my jaw is aching. Like almost like you're che you've been chewing something really, really chewy for too long, like stale gummy bears, but it just like is aching. From inactivity? I don't know. One more day, guys. One more day. Oh, good morning, friends. I'm sure you're all ready for this water fast to be over, so I, I look a little nicer on camera. I just don't have the energy to be getting up and getting ready. It's also super early. I, like, just woke up. <laughs> And just got little Miss Lila out of her bed. Good morning. Oh, you're hiding. She's being shy. Um, I did notice first thing this morning though, I just, I feel depuffed. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'll try and find some side-by-side -side photos, but I feel like my face doesn't look as puffy. Like it feels depuffed. So that's great. I did notice though, when I went to the bathroom first thing this morning, my urine was very, very yellow, which means I'm dehydrated, probably just because I slept so long last night, which was great. Um, I got at least 10 hours of sleep in last night, which feels amazing. I don't know, the last time I slept 10 hours and didn't wake up either from a tiny human over there or because I had to go to the bathroom because I was tossing and turning or had things running through my mind, so. That's been a great thing coming out of this um, cleanse. But whenever your urine is super yellow or, you know, you want for sure to make sure you have 
either clear or slightly pale yellow urine, especially when you're on a water fast. So sorry for TMI, but it's part of the fast and I want to report all of it for you guys. So I first thing this morning got a big old cup of water and um, this is my electrolyte water because I know I'm dehydrated and I need to get hydration into my body. So I'm going to have my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm probably going to get one making Lila some breakfast too now. So, okay. I'm feeling really good. It's day three. Technically I can break my fast starting at six o'clock PM tonight. And, um, I think, Oh, I got to start thinking about what I want to eat to break my fast. I know you're supposed to ease back into eating. You don't want to like go out and have a massive Chipotle burrito even though for some reason, which I don't eat Chipotle that often to begin with. It sounds so good though. Last night I was hardcore craving Chipotle specifically, like a chicken burrito loaded up with everything, veggies, cheese, and that's all I wanted. I got really hungry at the end of day two last night, right before I went to bed. Like my stomach growls were impressive. They were very loud. And that's all I wanted was a Chipotle burrito. But this morning, you know, I pushed through it. I decided I'm tired. I had some herbal tea um, and enough water. And then I went to bed and I woke up this morning feeling much better. I don't feel hungry. I don't. And guys, I don't know if you're seeing this. I have not a stitch of makeup on. I haven't even washed my face this morning. And I feel, I feel a little glowy, dare I say. I'm here for you water fast so far. I'm getting great sleep and my skin feels great. I feel the puffed. So day three and I'm starting to see some results. So that's pretty motivating to keep me going for another, let's see, it's like 7 a.m. now. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I'm obviously bad at counting in my head as you saw earlier in the video. 11-ish hours to go, almost 12 hours. So, all right, I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Oh. Sorry, this is where we keep all of those toys back here. It's by our big window for light. And I just kicked one. Kicked a bucket of Legos. Ooh, you moms out there know the pain of stepping on a Lego. Hi. Hey everyone. Okay, so it is like mid morning around 10 o'clock on day three. And we had to get out of the house. It was just... It was nice to be relaxing and having a few slow days when Josh was home. Josh is back at work today. It's just Lila and I, and this little one is bouncing off the walls today. So we're still going to keep it low key. We came to the park. <laughs> we're bouncing off the walls. Yeah. So we came to the park. Lila's going to get her energy out and play. I'm going to take it easy and just walk and watch her. And... Then when we get home, I'm gonna make Lila lunch. I'm going to go ahead and at that point, start the process of breaking my fast with some bone broth. And then I'll feel so nice to have something warm and yummy. And so I'm gonna have some of that this afternoon when she has lunch. And that way in a few hours, I'll be ready to have my first meal post fast. So that's my plan for the rest of the day. Um, we're just taking it chill. Hopefully this one will nap. So. La, 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 la. <sighs> hey guys. So it is midday, day three. We got home from the park. I fed Lila lunch. Um, I put her down for a nap, but I went ahead and had some chicken bone broth that I bought from the store, about a cup of it. And then about an hour after that, um, I just ate my first solid food. So I had an apple, but I'm telling you guys, like I felt way better during the fast than I do right now coming off the fast. I kind of feel like sick to my stomach. I have a bad headache and I feel like just all flushed and warm. So I don't know. This is kind of, this is the worst I have felt the whole time on the fast and it's me coming back off of it. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's just, 
you know, the shock from my body having solid foods for the first time again. I'm not feeling great. I'm going to just try and take a little rest while I have Lila napping and I'll check back in with you guys later. Mwah. She's up from her nap. Hey guys, so it is a little bit later. It's like 3.30, almost four o'clock. So it's oh, been about three oh, hours goodness. since I ate oh, my shit. apple and my broth. And what did we make, Lila? Smoothies. Smoothies. So this was something else I saw was by using a smoothie method um, to introduce food slowly will help. So now instead of my salad, I'm going to wait and much later tonight eat the salad. But I am now having a smoothie with Lila that we made. Do you remember what we put in it? Strawberry spinach. Strawberries and some spinach. What about bananas? Bananas. Bananas. Milk. Some almond milk. Almond milk. And some vanilla Greek yogurt. Yogurt. Yeah. So just a little bit of each. Um, you know, it's definitely still under 500 calories for a meal, which is what I heard. It's good mm -hmm. sander. You don't want to eat a really massive meal coming out of a fast because it'll really shock your system. As you can tell, I'm feeling significantly better. I think it was just a quick shock to my system having that apple, and I just think that I was hitting my limit for my first time fasting like that. I don't know that it was all having to do with coming out of the fast or if it would have happened if I stayed in it longer and gotten oh. worse even. I I'm feeling much better. Lila and I took it kind of easy. I took a little rest on the couch, and now that she's up, we're gonna have a little smoothie and movie time. Movie time. <laughs> movie time. So I'm feeling much better. I will jump back on and give you guys um, my results, meaning most importantly, how I'm feeling post fast and you know what I've noticed happening during it. Secondarily, my weight loss and measurements. So I'll jump back on and share those with you guys in just a little bit. Hey guys, so I did end up ending my fast a few hours early. I started feeling really dizzy and nauseous and you have to listen to your bodies. This was my first time doing an extended fast and I wanted to make sure that I'm being aware of how I was feeling and being cautious. So at that time, I felt like my body was telling me I'm done, I need to stop. So I went ahead and began to break my fast early. To break my fast, I started with some chicken bone broth, about a cup, and then about two hours later, because you want to slowly reintroduce food to your body. Remember, it's had a break for three days. It just needs time to rub its system back up. So about a couple hours later, I then had an apple, and then about an hour after that, Lila and I had a smoothie. Later that evening, I was feeling significantly better. I didn't feel at that point, like I was having any digestive issues from what I had consumed earlier. So I went ahead and made myself a nice big salad and included lots of veggies, a light dressing, and some shredded chicken. Immediately following my fast after I had the bone broth, I did make sure to go ahead and hop on that scale and get the results for you guys. So here they are. Here are my results after a three-day water fast. My starting weight was 320 pounds. At the end of three days, I was 313.5 pounds. I ended up losing a quarter inch from my neck, one and a half inches from my bust, a half an inch from my arm, none at my natural waist, one inch at my full waist, one inch at my full hip, a half an inch at my right thigh, and no inches on my calf. That's six and a half pounds lost and just under five and a half inches lost. I also felt a huge reduction in inflammation and a thinning out of my face and my skin felt clearer. I just felt great. I was so amazed by those results. I can't believe that I lost almost seven pounds over the course of three days. It should be noted, I will gain back a good percentage of that weight loss just by reintroducing solid foods and more liquids back into my body. So it's not like seven pounds is going to stay off indefinitely. Hopefully some of it will keep off, but I am also amazed 
by the measurement results, you can really see how my body just de-puffed and the inflammation went down. There were so many non-scale victories from this fast. My sleep has been great and I actually felt well rested when I woke up. I feel like I saw some slight skin improvements. I wasn't starting with very bad skin. My skin was actually in a pretty good spot, but I noticed that any little impurities I had cleared up over the three days of the fast, as well as my skin just looked and felt more hydrated by the end. As I was coming off the fast, I made sure to try and stick mostly to whole foods and ease back into eating both with what I was eating as well as portion sizes. It's really important after your body doesn't have food for three days that you're cautious of how you reintroduce it. That can be one of the biggest hazards and cautions to take when fasting. And I highly suggest you do your research before jumping into something like this, because if you introduce a ton of food and you just binge after coming off of a fast, you can make yourself really sick or have potential health problems. So make sure you're being supervised by a doctor and do your research before beginning this. Coming off the fast, I wanted to stick to mostly whole foods, avoid refined sugar and processed foods as much as possible until I worked my way back up. And I'm trying to avoid those things anyway as I'm on a weight loss journey. So I think that was a really good refresh and reset in my mind as well to help start new healthy habits as I go into month two of my weight loss journey. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed following along on my three day fast and I'm excited to see how the benefits remain. I'm going to continue to track my weight and measurements over the next couple of days until my regular weekly weigh-in so I can see where my body levels out. So make sure you're subscribed and your notifications are turned on so that you can tune in for next Monday's Motivation Monday series. I'm going to be doing my regular weekly weigh-in but also give an update about being a few days post fast, where my body's leveled out, and and what my lasting results have been like. So make sure you're subscribed so you can continue following along. Make sure you hit the like button if you want to see more challenges like this on my channel. And until next time, bye! But I get up, I always do.